Hey, good morning, good morning, everyone. I have a powerful word to share with you this morning out of God's word that I'm quite sure that everybody watching this has struggled in this area at some point or time, and that is being content in any and every situation that we go through. Um, and I was led to this very familiar passage of scripture in Philippians 4.12. This is the Apostle Paul speaking here, and it reads, I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. Wow. I think if we're going to be completely honest here, there are many times when we've read this scripture and we've thought to ourselves, are you serious, God? You want us to be content in every, any and every situation? Come on, are you kidding me? And that's exactly what the place where many of us have been in a situation in our lives where we just couldn't process why God would allow this to happen to us. And it doesn't lend itself for feelings of contentment. I think we could all relate to that. When we're in a situation like this where we can't process why God would allow something to happen, He wants us to be content. It's so tempting to wallow in the why question and tell God, you hurt my feelings. Why did this happen? Why didn't you stop this, God? Why weren't my prayers answered? Have you ever been there? Maybe that's where you are today. I just want to encourage you and remind you that asking the why question is perfectly normal. It's not like it's unspiritual. However, if asking the why question pushes you further away from God, then drawing you closer to Him, it's the wrong question to ask. If asking the why question doesn't offer hope, what will? I've learned in my walk with the Lord when I had to go through a difficult time and God wants me to be content, I felt the word, what is the better question to ask it? In other words, God, now that this is reality, what am I supposed to do with this? What are you trying to accomplish in and through this situation? So instead of wallowing in the why did this happen, we say, Lord, this is my reality. I know that you're going to cause good to come out of it. What can I learn from this? What part of this is for my protection? What other opportunities could you be providing for me through this? What maturity could you be building into my life through this? You know, switching from the why to the what question paves the road to parking our minds in a much better place. Is it easy? No. But is it a way to find a perspective beyond situations where we feel God has allowed something in our lives that we just don't understand and it's very difficult to be content in. So are you facing a difficulty like that? Are you facing trying times? Are you panicking about what to do next? God wants you to be faithful. God wants you to trust Him. He will teach you incredible lessons of the secret of being content in every situation as you commit to Him today and follow Him first in all your situations. Well, guys, just a quick word to encourage your heart today. I hope this does speak to you like it does me. If it does, please share this video. I hope you have an amazing day. Know that I love you guys, and I'm praying for you.